I decided I wanted to do my project on mass incarceration because so many people are affected by incarceration and not that many people are aware about it. So just bringing the awareness to people outside of my community and inside. 2.7 million children in this country have a parent in prison or in jail. 800,000 children in California have a parent in prison. Here in Marin, there are thousands of kids with a parent in prison or jail. In San Rafael, there's a nonprofit organization called Project Avery that supports children with family members in prison. Every year, they hold a summer camp in Mendocino, where they learn that they're not alone and they learn valuable life skills. So it feels kind of good to know that other people know what I'm going through and be able to like tell somebody that you'll trust and that won't like tell anybody else. They also meet throughout the year for adventure days on the weekend, where they learn things like sailing and camping, and pretty much things that they never would get a chance to do. Recently, they went to a convention in Massachusetts where they got to share their stories with peers. One of the biggest issues is jail visitation rights. On May 29th, Project Avery is having a rally to educate people about this issue. I have the right not to be judged. After my dad went to prison, everyone thought I was going to follow in his footsteps. I have the right to see, speak, and touch my parent while visiting them in jail or prison. When my mom went to jail in San Rafael, I was not allowed to touch her. I have the right to be well cared for in my parents' absence. I've lived in five foster homes and I didn't feel cared for. I have the right to be kept safe and informed when my parents are arrested. When my dad was arrested, the police never informed me where he was going to and what was going to happen to me. I have the right to be considered when decisions are made about my parents. When my dad got arrested, they should have thought of me during the sentencing process. I have the right to be heard when decisions are made about me. When my dad went to jail, no one asked how I was going to live day to day. I have the right to receive support as I face my parents' incarceration. At my school, there's no support network for kids like me. We are the Peacemakers, and this is our Bill of Rights. These are your rights. I know this because I have family members that have been to jail and prison, and I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for Project Avery. I mean, to me, the only thing, like, to describe it would probably be just love and family, really. It's like a second home. 